All right, uh, thanks uh, very much indeed. Okay, so as we just heard there, Salman Khurshid, one of the highest ranking politicians to be named in the Delhi police's charge sheet and now the senior Congress leader and uh, Supreme Court lawyer, former union minister, joins us on NDTV. Thank you, Mr. Khurshid, uh, for joining us. Now, I do have to begin by asking you what you make of these allegations. Did you, in fact, give a provocative speech during the CAA NRC uh, protests, as the charge sheet appears to allege? Uh, it's a very complicated question. Uh, if they think, if they think a provocative speech is a criminal offense, then I can't be incriminating myself, frankly. But uh, having said that, a provocative speech is a provocative speech. I don't see anything in the Indian Penal Code that says that you cannot make provocative speeches. Mm. Uh, and then they go on to say that it uh, mobilized people. It mobilized people to do what? I'm not quite sure. It mobilized people to fight for their lives, for their causes, fight, flight, fight for their rights. Uh, they must mm. come clean on that. They must tell the world that fighting for rights has now become a crime in this country. And if I went to uh, speak to these people at the site of protest, did I go to sing lullabies to them and put mm. them to sleep? Or did I go to say that I stood by their cause? And standing by the cause in this country has become a crime. This is news to me. And this would be news right. to the Supreme Court of the country as well. If you. But just to put this in perspective, just so that uh, we understand exactly what happened here. So I take it that you went and addressed some gatherings uh, at the during the time of the CA NRC protest. Of course I did. Of course I did. And it was my it was my duty to have done so. OK. Uh, in fact, uh, I'm not the only one. Many people went and, and I believe and what did you everybody say? Everybody who went did it as part of their democratic assertion of their democratic rights. So, do you, do you recall what exactly it is you said? I have no idea. I would have said something sensible, but something sensible is unacceptable to this government. I would have said, and I've written a book about the CAA, mm. I would have said what I've said in my book, that the CAA right. was, uh, was an attack on the constitutional rights of our, of our people, and that people have a right to protest, and that's mm -hmm. what I would have said, that you have a right to protest, do it peacefully, do it in a constitutional manner. Remember that the entire CAA protest was premised on the understanding of the Constitution and the preamble of the Constitution. Now, it's, uh, it's disgusting in, in right. the least for people to be reacting in this manner against the rights of people enumerated in the Constitution. Now, Mr. Kushid, uh, you know, the charge sheet uh, merely names you. It is not said that you are an accused. Uh, it is based on the statement of a witness whose identity has been concealed, uh, according to the police. Uh, but the statement has been given under Section 164, which as, as, a, as a lawyer you would obviously know is before a magistrate. So that's believed to carry greater legal weight. Uh, does that concern you? Because some would see that these are indications of a precursor where the police names people, uh, hints that they may have also been part of the riots conspiracy as a precursor towards taking stronger action. Well, I mean, if they, if they want to, they are welcome. But uh, uh, it would be interesting that after 17,500 pages, uh, all they have reached is a precursor, mm. that they have uh, still, still more to do. Uh, but uh, to tell you the truth, uh, I, I consider the, uh, the uh, part of the chart sheet, i.e. the attachments to the chart sheet in which my name figures, I consider that to mm -hmm. be a, a, a heap of trash and uh, trash it will remain. And I don't think they can do very much, very much with it. If they had anything in their mind that what has been said is, is uh, purposeful and is adequate and it's, uh, it's, it's mm. evidence, uh, they, would have, uh, they would have acted upon mm. it. They haven't acted upon it, so I don't see I don't see why anyone should worry. But given the kind of attitude these people have, I imagine that nothing nothing mm. is beyond beyond their capacity, and therefore uh, 
to be vigilant is something that is necessary to remain free in this country. And lastly, Mr. Khurshid, uh, some have alleged that the charge sheet is entirely on a one-sided basis, that basically it's being used to settle scores with critics of the government, while senior leaders of the ruling party, who in fact have been seen on camera giving insightful speeches, are still roaming free. You know, in, a, in law, there is an expression, uh, res ipse sequitur, that... Uh, the, the things speak for themselves. The, uh, you don't have to say anything more. I mean, the manner in which this investigation has happened, right. in the manner in which they infiltrated uh, informers mm. into the protest movements, have all now come bare in the chart sheet itself. And the hiding of names, uh, being, be, uh, playing secrecy games, etc., is a clear, clear signal, clear signal that uh, these are very scared people. They are really, really scared of the people of India, and they're scared of public opinion. And that's what this clearly indicates. Now, okay. what happens with it and, and how it will go forward, time will, time will tell. But today, all I can do is right. to say, and I'm not saying this on, I haven't read the 17,000 pages, so I'm not saying on, on every page and every person sure. accused in this. There may be something, there may not be something. But what you have referred to and mm. bits that I have seen, my only reaction is it's trash. It is trash. Okay, all right, strong words. Thank you very much indeed, Salman Khurshid, for talking to us. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.